Alrighty, welcome back to Lemonade Customs. Uh, I'm Kiefer, your host, and uh, what we're doing is rebuilding a 5.9 Cummins, and uh, let's go over some of the part selection for my engine build. So first up, we got a bottom end gasket set. Uh, just engine tech ordered from uh, Rock Auto. Uh, pretty decent uh, price, not so sure of quality but we'll see how it, how it does. Um, so, some people are probably wondering what's going on with all these boxes here. So, I got a set of uh, brand new pistons, uh, standard size. Uh, I'll get you a close up view of it. Um, we'll get back to these here in a second. Um, so now, we want to get into what's going on with this big box here. So this is the top end gasket set with the head gasket and whatnot. So this engine is going from uh, 12 valves into 24 valves. Uh, brand new casted head from uh, Engine Tech out of the states. There uh, set of. Uh, as you can already tell, uh, these are injector lines for a P-pump, so this engine will be P-pumped. Uh, we'll get more into the P-pump when I actually bring the truck down that the engine is going into. Uh, these are 084 uh, size lines. Uh, common size is uh, 093s, but it can cause a little bit of loping, which can be annoying for driving and you ha really have to advance your timing in order to get rid of that so I decided to go with this size a little bump up from the factory size line but it should be uh, have good idle characteristics I hope so now to go with the head because they just sh ship it as a bear cast head a uh, brand new set of exhaust valves and intake valves. Um, we will be going over the installation procedure for assembling this brand new head. Uh, new cam bearing uh, because I am also going to be running a marine camshaft in this engine. Uh, this is a, a 182 over a 208. Uh, should bump her up quite a bit I would hope. Uh, a lot of performance camshafts are just uh, regrounds of the marine camshaft. Uh, we'll see how it performs. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper of an option. There's about 300 bucks for this camshaft, uh, which is comparable to spending $800 on a on a Hamilton or a Colts cam. So that's why I went with this route. Uh, with the new camshaft. Uh, uh, also bought uh, new lifters. You want to run new lifters with a new camshaft. These are lifters for uh, a 98 to 2002 model year 59. Uh, it's got a larger diameter face here, which will allow for uh, better longevity uh, for uh, cam life as it's going to put less pressure on the lobes. Do you even lifter, bro? Okay. Do you even lift her, bro? Yeah, do I even lift her, bro? So back over to the pistons here. So the pistons I've chosen here are for a VIN 7 engine or what's known as the high output uh, piston. So the difference between this piston and a standard output piston is this piston will have higher compression, uh, make the engine a higher compression as the fuel bowl is actually a little bit narrower. Um, so it's going from a 16.3 compression to 17.2 compression ratio. Uh, some of the positives is that I'll have better low end torque, uh, better fuel economy cruising down the highway. Um, sounds a little bit better for the well-trained ear. The high output engine sounds a little bit nicer. Um, some of the drawbacks of running a, a piston like this, especially if you're going for a real high horsepower application, 
is that uh, you can you have to run less timing because your fuel bowl is narrower so the more advanced your timing is the higher the risk that you're going to spray outside of your fuel bowl with your injector which will cause piston damage and also uh, you're gonna increase uh, cylinder uh, pressures so you run a higher risk of uh, blowing head gaskets and and that kind of stuff because uh, as you bring on boost uh, your cylinder peak pressures are gonna just go th through the roof and so for an engine that I would say is running over uh, 45 pounds of boost which I will not be uh, I would highly recommend going with a standard output piston but once we get into my turbocharger selection uh, and fuel side it'll make more sense as to why I have chosen this piston and then uh, just bearings for the rods and for uh, the uh, crankshaft uh, a new OEM Cummins uh, oil pump for the engine uh, recommended to always run a new oil pump when you're rebuilding an engine uh, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with that oil pump uh, can inspect it and look at it but it just peace of mind for me uh, to go with swapping the engine over uh, to the 24 valve with a P-pump, uh, brand new uh, gear case and cover. Uh, they're actually pretty reasonable from uh, DAP. It was about 200 bucks for the set, which isn't too bad. Uh, also, uh, going to be running 110-pound uh, valve springs on this head. Uh, prevent uh, higher RPMs uh, and will hopefully prevent uh, valve float. And then to top her all off, just your standard set of 425 ARP studs. Uh, I don't really have the money to go and spend on the 625s or about $600 more for the set, so uh, we went with these. They should be uh, hold up pretty well. Um, I'm not running extreme amounts of uh, boost so uh, it should be okay and so with getting all to that the last little box of goodies here is we got ourselves a new uh, exhaust manifold uh, it's a T4 style so larger uh, ports uh, Better turbocharger selection with a T4 because then you can get into uh, more industrial applications, so cheaper turbos than the T3 styles. Uh, the reason why I bought it unassembled is because it's $100 cheaper US this way, and for the time it's going to take me to put it together, uh, it's kind of foolish in my opinion to buy one assembled if they give you the option. And then just the bolts that come with it. So in closing on this video, it's been a lot of talking and a lot of, a lot of information to process and as we get into actually assemble of the engine, we can spend a little bit more time going over things. Um, I'd like to thank Austin uh, for letting me come onto his channel. Uh, he's kind of like my Make-A-Wish Foundation, making my dreams of becoming a YouTube superstar come to life. I uh, also, uh, you know, thanks to all the subscribers and views uh, for these videos. It means a lot to us. Uh, we're also uh, uh, curious as to what you guys actually think I am going to be running for uh, a set of injectors and uh, my turbocharger application. So comment down below what you guys think I'm going to be running and or what you would run. and. Uh, like and subscribe and share. Thank you.